Welcome to our demonstration of the BioScan SRT. Why choose the BioScan SRT? SRT stands for Stress Reduction Testing. It incorporates an ohm meter, which measures galvanic skin response, with our world-class software for quick and non-invasive testing for your clients. Combines the disciplines of acupuncture, biofeedback, and homeopathy with laser technology. The computerized scan uses digital signals to test the clients for sensitivities and out of balance conditions. As a practitioner, you will offer solutions to remedy the issues. A laser processing protocol is taught in our training, and we have full, colorful, easy to read reports, which substantially increases client compliance and in turn increases results and practitioner revenue. Practitioner requirements. The BioScan SRT is an FDA class two cleared medical device in the USA. All practitioners using the device must have a health field credential. It's the role of the practitioner to ensure their designation allows them to use the BioScan in their country, state, province, and locations. Proof of certification must be emailed before purchase can occur. Here is our BioScan SRT. On the left, we have the BioScan unit. We have the focus, which is how the signals are sent into our clients. We have the BioConnect and the alligator clips. These connect to the electrode strips, which are wrapped around the acupuncture point. A test plate allows us to put items into the circuit and we use a laser for our processing protocol at the end of the visit. Looking at how the equipment is set up for the BioScan SRT, on the side of the system are the ports where all of the accessories are attached. The focus sits on the shirt collar of your client and the electrode strips wrap around the fingers where the acupuncture point is, where you're taking the reading, and then the alligator clips are attached. At the end of the visit, we use our BioScan SRT processing protocol to help balance the signals that were abnormal. Now that we've opened our software, you can see the main screen. We are in the virtual library tab, which has all of the different signals that we have in our virtual library. You can choose which dilution you'd like to do your scan, provoke, or process in. Choosing the dilution allows you to ask questions in different ways. You can scan to get outcomes. You can provoke to see which signals, when put together, will bring outcomes into balance. And you can process. So you would take any of the abnormal outcomes from the scan and the practitioner will do our processing protocol. Let's take a look at what a scan would look like. We choose our dilution. We choose what folder we want to scan. And we're going to start the scan on our client. So after the baseline readings were taken, it starts working its way through the items or folders in your scan box, and the outcomes are shown on the right side of your screen. When you're done the scan, you, will, you may provoke or you will process anything that is unbalanced. And when you finish, you'll come up to perform the report. You have a variety of reports to choose from, and you can choose the different details that you would like shown. You have the ability to preview the report 
and PDF it to send it to your clients. For those of you who specialize in certain conditions, you can build custom libraries. Once created, they show up under this tab and you can choose them to populate into your scan, process, or provoke box to be able to use them with your client. Here's an example of one of our SRT scan reading reports. You can see underneath the items tested are the names of the folders or items that you've scanned. You can see which group they are in, which dilution, so how you have asked the question, and there is a written number for the outcome, as well as color-coded legend. At the bottom, you can see what the colors represent. Black and blue are chronic, green means it was a balanced outcome, and pink or red means that it was an acute outcome. Here's an example of an SRT M chart report when it's closed. It has the organ systems represented along the left, the averaged outcome for those systems, and then again a color representation of where they are. When you look at the report opened up, so our SRT M chart report opened. Again, you see the category for the organ system. You see the acupoints that were scanned, and then you see the outcomes. So again, the top number is an average of all of the outcomes, and then you can see each one individually. The legend is also at the bottom of these reports. Here's an example of our SRT current protocol report. After you have done the scan and you've decided on a protocol of nutraceuticals for your client, you can choose them and this report will allow you to print out a nice fridge report, which gives the name of the products they'll be taking and how many to take and at what time of day. Why choose the Bioscan SRT? We have over 80,000 signals in our virtual library and more are being added every year. Our custom library building capability in the software allows you to create custom libraries for conditions you often see in your practice. We've partnered with major nutraceutical companies whose signals are also in our virtual library. We offer basic and advanced training and all training is now provided by webinar for your convenience. We update our software at least once per year, adding new features to better assist our practitioners in supporting their clients. Remaining current with your software subscription maintains the warranty on the Bioscan system. 24 hour customer support is available and we have full-time mechanical and software engineers on staff. For more information, please contact IHT, or if you've already been working with an account executive, you can reach out to them for more information and to have any questions answered. You can go to our website at www.ihtbio.com forward slash learn forward slash.